I'm Greg Cooperman, and I'm here to talk to you about the new DARPA program called Space-Based Adaptive Communications Node, or Space Bacon for short. Today, we are witnessing the birth of a new domain called proliferated space. In the upcoming years, we're going to see thousands of satellites going up into space that are low cost, rapid to field, and highly distributed. This new space domain will usher in a new era of low cost communications, sensing, and space exploration. The promise of this new domain is almost endless. For example, think of a search and rescue mission in a remote area or disaster zone. Today, a lack of communications and sensing has hurt first responders' ability from acting quickly and getting help to people in need. With the capability that will be available through the proliferated space layer, imagery and communications will be immediately available almost anywhere across the world. These thousands of satellites across space plan to connect with one another via optical crosslinks. But due to how new these systems are and the cutting edge technology needed for optical communications in space, there are numerous incompatible standards that prevent satellites from talking to each other. Going back to the search and rescue mission example, imagery collected on one satellite system will not be immediately available to responders that are using a different one for communications. And if two teams of rescuers are using communications from two different satellite constellations, then they'll have limited ability to communicate. That brings me back to Space Bacon. The goal of Space Bacon is to create a low-cost, reconfigurable optical communications terminal that can talk almost any standard and connect systems that otherwise couldn't talk with one another. For example, I want a satellite to create an optical link to a commercial provider, connect to a government system, and then connect to an altogether different system that has yet to even be created. Similar to what's driving the new proliferated space domain, the primary drivers for Space Bacon are low cost and ease of use. We want this to be an easy decision for someone to put on their system. Hence, we're setting the following objectives that we call 100 cubed. 100 gigabits per second to support most optical standards, 100 watts to not consume too much power, and $100,000 per terminal to make it affordable. The goal is to not make the perfect solution for everyone, but the good enough solution for most users. Space Bacon will help connect a new proliferated space domain and enable the capability that that domain brings with it. Now, to build this novel capability, Space Bacon is divided into three technical areas, two of which we're discussing here. The first technical area is the front end, which is a low cost, low loss optical aperture that can cover all wavelengths in the C-band, which is around 1550 nanometers. In order to achieve the high speeds of 100 gigabits per second that next generation space systems will use, the optical aperture must be able to support coherent communication modes, which means putting light into single mode fiber. Traditionally, Getting light into single mode fiber has been expensive and requires a lot of human labor. We want to one day be able to affordably produce these to outfit entire constellations. Hence, in the first technical area, we're seeking innovative proposals on how to design and build an optical terminal that can couple light into single mode fiber at low cost and maintain low loss through large thermal and vibrational fluctuations that exist in the space domain. And while we're not going to be building a thousand units on this program, we want the design to be able to be produced in large quantities. The second technical area is the back end, which is a reconfigurable, low power modem that can support most optical waveforms in space at rates up to 100 gigabits per second. To date, only fixed rate, single mode systems have been utilized in space. Innovative and novel approaches are going to be required to achieve this high speed reconfigurable capability. In the radio frequency world, FPGA based software defined radios have enabled users to support almost any communications mode, but only at rates up to a few gigabits per second. In the fiber optical communications world, ASICs have enabled data rates of well over 100 gigabits per second, but these systems are not reconfigurable and only support a small number of modes. For Space Bacon, we're looking for something in between. We don't want to necessarily support everything like a traditional software-defined radio, but we do want to support the key protocols and technologies that are utilized for optical communications in space. Hence, we're looking to combine the best capabilities of FPGA-based software-defined radios and hardware-accelerated ASICs to create a low-cost, low-power, reconfigurable modem. Finally, the goals of Space Bacon do not just include a reconfigurable terminal in terms of communications modes, but we want the terminal components themselves to be reconfigurable. Hence, the front end and back end will be built such that they will be interchangeable with one another to allow performers to focus on their strengths and enable rapid refresh of system components in the future. Now I want to take a minute to talk about the solicitation approach for Space Bacon. I want the most capable and innovative approaches for this program, and that means enabling as many organizations as possible to compete for the work. While I still want the organizations that the government typically works with to submit their ideas, I also want to enable the non-traditional organizations that don't typically work with the government to submit their ideas with relatively low effort. 
Personally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of the traditional government approach of BAAs. It's filled with contract speak, has a ton of rules and regulations, and makes it incredibly challenging for folks that are not used to the process to submit proposals. For Space Bacon, we're going to be asking for a three-page abstract, answering a few simple questions. If we like it, we'll invite you to give an oral presentation to explain your ideas and approach. And if we like that, you get to work. That's it. Of course, we'll have to get to the contract stuff eventually, but we don't want proposing to be a burden, and we want the best performers to get to work fast. Now, I know that sounds different than how you would expect the government to be soliciting proposals, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions about the technical scope of the program. All the details on what we're looking for and how to propose are in the solicitation document on this webpage. We'll also be hosting an industry day where you can ask us any questions you may have. We're looking forward to seeing your ideas and for making Space Bacon a reality.